Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Challenge Series. Hopeless Rescue, Episode 2. So here we are, Winding River. Uh, transition zone between Mystery Lake and Pleasant Valley. So we're going to go through here and kind of quickly look for anything. The weather's not too bad. Negative 5 degrees Celsius, not too bad. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. It looks like most of you are. Most of you are. Uh, sometimes there's stuff in these little things, I think. But again, I'm not going to spend too much time messing around with that. Kind of want to keep going. I should have offloaded some weight before I left the uh, warm confines of the uh, Carter Hydro Dam, but that's okay. Got a good comment, good suggestion. Next time, past time, like do some repairs instead. Just past time. Yeah, that's... That would be optimal, for sure. So I'll try to remember to do that if the uh, situation presents itself in this episode. Thank you so much for that comment, by the way. Lots of other good comments, too. So, too many, too many to, to make mention of, but uh, that one really stood out. Send a rabbit ahead. See what he can find. Oh, you're going the wrong way. That's not the way I want to go. Another good uh, suggestion was next time just shoot the just shoot the uh, the wolf. Don't try to squeeze through. You got plenty of ammo. Yeah. I, I, I tend to hoard my ammunition a little bit, probably too much. Kind of like I do with food and uh, in these uh, challenges and story mode things and stuff like that. I, I almost treat them like they're interloper sandbox modes where food is so scarce you kind of have to get into that mindset. I, I normally don't come this way, so forgive me if I get a little bit turned around here. I don't think I go up there. Maybe I do, but I don't think so. Pretty sure I don't. I still want to see what's up there, but well, I really don't have a lot of time. All right, I, I, I'm going to go see what's up there. Let's grab this real quick, since we're literally walking right past it. So food, water, everything looks pretty good right now. I'm getting fatigued a little bit quicker because I'm rolling a little bit heavy. That's okay. Normally, if there, I think if there's a wolf here. It's normally over there by the by the dam. Is that a what is that moving around over there? I can't tell what that is. Is that a rabbit? Probably. Yeah, must must be just you know follow the power lines to the to the next. Uh, I think it's like a cave that comes out and goes in there and then comes out behind Signal Hill. Uh -oh, I'm just gonna follow this and I think this might be it. Again, I I can't remember. It's probably been a year and a half or two years since I've actually used this area right here so like I said if I have to go a little bit further down I I do apologize it kind of feels like it sh this should be the right way sort of like hushed river valley man. <laughs> forget about it I have no, no idea how to move around that place it's like a brand new region to me I really want to get the whole year one long dark experience going again i just reload that sucker okay let's go this way had a good weekend with the family got in a little very very minor accident my wife was driving us we were uh heading to uh like horse-drawn carriage Christmas show in Piqua, Ohio. And as we were driving through Troy, Ohio, we're in the right lane and a car next to us just merged right into our lane and hit the front quarter panel of our car. Caused very little damage to us, a little bit of scuffing, very, like, a little bit of paint. A um, little bit of paint damage. No, uh, no real body damage to speak of. 
but her her vehicle took much more of a hit. Anyway, everybody is okay. She was very uh, apologetic and upset about it and things like that. As after it happened, like as it's going on, check out, make sure everything's okay. And we're coming up to a stoplight, and I'm like pulling out my phone, snapping photos of the, of the car, just anticipating that it's not going to stop. Turns out she was definitely the type of person that would. But uh, everybody's fine. It was speed was, you know, it was a side swipe, same direction, and uh, our speeds were like 20 miles an hour, so it was no big deal. Just bumped, just a little bit of a jolt, but everyone's all right. So I kind of had to, while we were waiting for the officer to arrive on scene, I sort of told her what to expect and what to have ready and all that stuff. And she had her grand grandchild with her. She was on her way to pick up another grandchild. And, uh, again, I'm not going to try to spend too much time in here. I'm going to try to move through this as quick as possible. But, uh, yeah, it all worked out. So that was probably the most eventful thing during the weekend, other than the fact that we had really good family time other than that. All right. This feels like progress whenever you see one of these big rooms like this. And I'm not going to try to go looking through all the other side rooms um, yeah we really don't need a whole heck of a lot at this point we have pretty much all we need we and more food of course I don't need any of that Let's see if I can drink anything I, I took the water not that I really needed it what are we at now 35 we're, we're a little we're a little bit overweight pardon me and I think we go up here. So let's do that. Does it go anywhere? Yeah. Like a little walkway across here. Okay. Some coal, which we don't need. Got a comment. They're like, <laughs> you got like the god roll of uh, loot spawns. And after that first run through where I messed everything up or attempt it uh yeah this this one definitely did feel like a lot better and I was like man it was so good I almost started over but then I was like eh. it's almost like uh Project Zomboid starting off in the mall in Nashville that was like really good all right so here we, here we go oh you know what I will go back inside here and uh, drop some things that we don't need. So there's Pleasant Valley. All right, let's, let's head back inside though. Turn that off. And let's go back in here. And a quick word from our series sponsor, NordVPN. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as Double VPN, Onion Over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary NordLynx protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. Or how about this, Split Tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the NordVPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACT2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop what we can here. We are a little bit heavy. I don't need this many sewing kits. I don't need a fishing kit. And we'll go by uh we'll go by weight. Yeah. So let's see everything. A rifle, water. I probably don't need that much water. I'll go ahead and uh drop about half of it there. Close to a little less than half. That'll help. Drop this wood. Oops, 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 oops. What else did I drop there? Drop the hatchet. I need that. <laughs> Give that back to me. Please. Alright. The wood started bouncing around there. Alright, so we got rid of that. We're getting we're getting close. I probably don't need the flashlight. I'm just gonna drop that. 
I can survive without the flashlight. You only get to use it during auroras at night, and I don't plan on doing a whole lot of traveling at night, so there's that. Um, tinder plugs. I can... Oh, I still got some of these left. Let's go ahead and eat these. Alright, there we go. I'm not going to make any bullets. Let's get rid of that. Okay, what else? What else? Not much else that is really lightweight. That all are, that's real heavy because this is all lightweight down here. What about up here? Don't need a can. One of those MREs would actually bring me down underweight, but it's food. It's hard to let go of. You know what? We can we can always get cloth pretty much anywhere we go. So, uh, yeah, let's just drop all of that. Yeah, let's do that. That'll put us underweight. Good. Let's go. All right. Here we go, Pleasant Valley. Don't leave me astray. Ooh, it's a little, little foggy. Little foggy. Hey, dead guy. Boots. Underwear. I'll take the underwear. I think we can actually use that. And it, I hope, hope it doesn't put us overweight. But I think if you wear something, it's not as bad. It apparently, did put us overweight. It did exactly that. Let me drop a little bit of this. Drink a little bit and then drop another half liter or whatever it'll let me drop. Wait, I dropped something. I yeah, I don't want to drop that. Here, stop moving stuff around when I'm trying to click on things. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right, let's drop a little bit here. Oh, yeah, it has to be a half liter. All right, there we go. Underweight. Let's head on out of here. See if we can find the signal hill, hill here in the... Uh, a little bit of hazy haziness going on. I won't call it fog, but it's sort of hazy. So I think I go kind of this way. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm not the best at coming from this direction or finding that little cave there either. So if I get a little bit sidetracked or a little bit lost, please forgive me. I'm trying to I'm trying to make this a shortcut, not a long cut. Alright. Why are we overweight again? We still are? Oh, is it because I'm tired? Yeah, I'm starting to get tired. Okay. That's fine. I, I get that. I, I won't be able to keep up with that. I'll just end up leaving a Hansel and Gretel trail of valuable items if I try to try to do that. That won't work. Should probably just collect old man's beard like I was debating and get rid of that uh, disinfectant bottle it's pretty heavy is that the mountain up there no it's not it doesn't look right I hear a wolf over that general direction okay I want to kind of I think I kind of go this way a little bit That's not it. That doesn't look right at all. No, that, look, that feels like it's the border of the map or whatever. I feel like I need to cut it in this way a little bit, though. Wish I could see a little bit further. If this haziness would disappear, that would be a huge help. But it's here and I'm just going to deal with it. Alright, I'm just going to kind of go this way. See where this takes me. I'm not sure if I'm on the same level as Signal Hill right now or if I'm like one level down. So I'm unsure about that as well. Is this it? Is this the hill? Maybe. Uh, seems somewhat familiar because it like drops down over there and uh, there would be a rope down there helping you get up this way. This kind of feels like it. Bounce over this way a little bit. If I see a 
mountaineer rope hanging down over here. I'll, I'll know for sure, but... Oh, wait, this isn't it. It never has, like, a path like this. All right, that doesn't seem right at all. Seems all wrong now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> I should just kept my mouth shut, pretending like I knew where I was going, because it kind of worked out pretty good. I didn't. No idea. But uh, Signal Hill normally has some pretty decent clothing items. Um, I hesitate saying that. I do have a wood desk, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick little... There we go. A little knock on wood there. We got this huge incline that we're climbing up. But sprain risk has disappeared again. So, all right, we made it to Signal Hill somehow. I'm definitely not familiar coming in that way, and I'm just glad it all kind of worked out. So, that was good. All right. Yay, we made it. Got a bunch of firewood there, which that's why I dropped the firewood earlier, because I knew we were going to come across one. What the heck is that? Oh, I thought it was like... it. It's going to sound really weird, but it kind of looked like a pug looking at me through the fence. I know there's no pugs in the game, but that's what my mind's eye saw. So I'm just sharing it with you guys. I saw the, a pug. Phantom pugs. All right. Oh, what do we got here? A military coat. This stuff will come in handy. That seems heavy, but probably pretty. Yeah, it takes a beating. We'll figure out if we want to wear that or with what we have or if we like what we have better. I'm not sure. Um, no, I'm not going to take that. I will take that. Let's do a little search here of these lockers. Let's see if any of these. This pack is getting uh, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that. And we need a pry bar for that. Maybe we can find one finally. One of these. One of these times. I think we have plenty of bandages, but I took it anyway. Oh, we got four. It's not a ton, but... Yeah, I took that anyhow. And more work boots. Let's see here. The footwear has not been a problem. Take that Go Energy drink. That might really help us out. I don't need that. I'll take the wool shirt, though, and um, cargo pants. Yeah, those would be better than the jeans we have once we fix them up a little bit. And what do we got down here? Some combat pads. Probably better than the cargo, cargo pants. Yeah. We're all uh, getting all tactical here with all the military stuff. Fun. There's another fire starter back here. We're going to leave that. See anything else? Uh, another can opener. Don't need that. There's always. It seems like there's always peanut butter here. How are these sardines? Okay, very good. We have so much food. So, okay. Well, let's see if we can. I know you're. I know you're carrying a lot. I got you. I got you. You're gonna. We're gonna stay here tonight. A uh, revolver. Might take the re. I don't. Uh, I don't have that much ammo. I was gonna say if I had an, the same amount of ammo as I do with the rifle, I'd probably take the revolver. But uh, as it stands, I think we're gonna leave that, and I will go ahead and probably get rid of the revolver ammo if it weighs. I think it's very, very light, so I might not even do that. Of course, then why? Why not pick up the revolver? Um, Okay, yeah, I probably will get rid of that ammo. As weird as it seems. Let's see here. Thunder tools, right? Yeah. Um. Make sure I'm dropping the right one. Yeah, we're gonna drop that. I only have four rounds, and uh, never know. It's not in great shape anyway. Useful. Yeah, we're gonna leave that. Gotta start thinking about climbing ropes because it's gonna be happening soon. Okay, so I don't have a pry bar that I know about yet, and um, I need to hmm, I need to do some repairs here. Figure out what I want to do here with the clothing situation. So I got these, but I also have these and those. Obviously, well, how are these? Those are 0.8. These are a lot warmer. So we're not even going to need to make a repair. We'll just keep what we have and we'll throw these on top or underneath or wherever. What's their waterproof? 20. Those are 10. So yeah, we're going to switch these around. 
So we'll put these good ones on here. And then we'll put on the military pants on the top. So we have the most waterproof on the outside. Um, this ragged wool shirt. We'll wear that. I uh, don't think we have anything else there. Do we have a, we have a, this military coat. That's pretty good. All right, negative five for our running, but we have so much ammo, I'm not worried about that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Wait a minute. It's a war night shell. I think the one that I just dropped. That's 33. Okay, no, we're still better off with what we have. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, Hat-wise, we have 200% toques, I think. 88.61. Let's put the 100%er on. And drop the 61% one. Oh, I did the opposite. Let's put that on. Let's drop that one. There we go. So we should have the 188%. Yes. We have that going on. And I probably want this on the outside. 40% waterproof that. Plus this is ragged anyway. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take that off. Take that off. Put that on. Did I put on the right one? 48. I only have the one. Okay. Yep. There we go. Great. You're starting to look like a green monster over here. And 53 here. Yep. Those are the best ones I have. Cargo pants, warp pants. Yeah, I think that's right. So let's go ahead. What are those at? Those are what I'm wearing. All right. Let's drop those. Drop those. How are we doing with weight now? We're starting to come down a little bit, maybe? No. So what I'll do is I'll, while it's dark, because it, there's not enough light to do any repairs, I'll go ahead and rip these gloves up. Get rid of those. And then we'll, in the morning, we're going to go ahead and try to repair these either way, because I don't want to lose them in a wolf, wolf fight. And I don't know how much damage these take. They're just too valuable. And uh, make some tough decisions here with the food. Probably, probably have to leave some behind, honestly. Despite stuff in our faces everything there looks normal maybe maybe one too many flares but oh well I'm just going to drop these sticks because we don't need them sticks be everywhere that's heavy that seems correct could probably get rid of some pain meds I'll just drop one of those. Have 16 pain pain pills. That should be plenty for us. And I'm sure we're going to find more. Um, let's get rid of these paper matches. There we go. All right. Pitch black now. <laughs> so, while it's dark here, go ahead and eat a little something. I don't know. What do you guys feel like having? Let's have some more peaches here. Hydrate us up. Get rid of another half, half pound. Honestly, so that'll be good, actually. Let's see if I can grab another can of something. It's heavier. Um, okay, maybe we can't find it that way. Let's go through here. See if I can find another can of something. That's 0.3. Let's go by weight for food. Let's go by weight the other way. With food. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. Did I see another can of peaches? I did. Peaches are heavy. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Let's go with that. Eat another can of those. We'll dro drop the empty cans also. Before I forget. Sounds like it's got, kind of getting a little windy out there. Okay, there we go. Drop, drop. And we're getting close. We're getting real close. So... All right, while it's dark, and I'm just killing a little bit of time before bed, I'll turn on the lantern so I can find the bed. I won't stumble around in the dark, I promise. Um, just going to grab this one, harvest this up. I, I want to repair those gauntlets, too, if they're... Yeah, they're in crap shape, so we definitely need to focus on those first, then the mucklucks. But we can't do it without light, and I'm not going to start a fire and do it outside just for that. 
on purpose. I guess I could. There's wood out there. How much time does it take to try to repair one of these? Should be like an hour and a half, I think. Oh, this is only 30 minutes with a cured leather. Okay. And then these, how long are these to repair? An hour and 30. Okay. Not a huge deal either way. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start a fire outside because we got that burn barrel and, uh, oops. There we go. I could use this, but it would use up most of my fuel. So I'm not going to do that. Um, let's grab some wood from in here. Anything I can find. Oh, look at that rifle cartridge. I was like, oh, look, a whole box of ammo. No, not quite. It's amazing what you can find when you can actually see. Okay, we'll take that. That's another half hour burn time. Um, hopefully we get, we can do this, both of these in before bedtime. Then I'll be very sleepy. Another rifle cartridge. Oh yes, it's amazing what a little light can do. Just a little bit. Okay, let's go in here, see what I missed in here. I don't think I missed anything in here, but uh, I could be wrong. Oh, there's some socks down here. I don't think those I'll take it. ragged wool socks. I don't think you need them. Uh, oh yeah, we do. Okay. They're better than those sports so socks, so we'll we'll just drop those and we'll just throw those on. Even in bad condition, we'll, we can repair those if we want to. Alright, let's head on outside. Start a little fire over here. I believe there was, there was some wood over here, right? I made a comment about it when I came in. Between the uh, pug comments. Alright, what's our temp out here? Negative 8. Which way is the wind coming from? I don't know. It feels painful. Am I tucked in? Nah, it don't matter. Alright, let's just start a fire here. So, fire striker, tinder plug, cedar firewood. Let's give it a try. And I'm not going to cook up any water. Got plenty of soda. And if we need water, we can either do that at uh, the barn or the uh, farm, or we can do it at the abandoned prepper cache. Or not prepper cache, but abandoned ca cache at the bottom of the rope headed to Timberwolf Mountain. Good. We got it the first time. That's good. Um, before we do this, let's go ahead and extinguish this. Because I will forget and go through all my lantern fuel if I don't. And I want to add a couple fuels here. Yeah, what the heck. Let's just throw in the reclaimed wood while we're at it. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the wind with this, which is nice. I just want to get the temperature up a little bit. So, there. So, we can re repair and stay warm at the same time. All right, I guess this is the way to do it. <laughs> Trying to make the best use of it, you know, not sleep and pass time. So, hope you guys are proud of me. All right, so let's do this. All right, I'll take it. I'll take that. 91% makes you feel better. Even if I strike out with these, I'm still happy that we at least got that repaired. I need a cloth. I think I left them inside, didn't I? Let me go inside real quick. Ooh, it's a... Feels like it's going to be a cold night. Still, just despite all the wind chill, it's, it's still just negative eight degrees Celsius. Pressing the wrong keys. It's dark. What can I say? All right. Where's my freaking? I don't have to like undo all this stuff. I wish you could drop any of this gear. I wish I could just simply like. Nice if you get mouse over it and oops. Didn't I have cloth in here? I thought I had cloth in here. Did I not? Wait, there was cloth here somewhere. I'm sure of it. I thought I saw some. More water. <laughs> eh, that's not a big deal. We can always rip something up. We got plenty of time, but uh Alright, you guys just want to use the ragged shell? Hey, if, if I can find a piece of cloth, that'd be great. Oh, rifle ammo. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm glad I, I'm kind of glad this all happened like this. I would have completely missed that rifle ammo. I probably would have just ran off without it. Let's grab this shell and these jeans. And then if, uh, we'll stand by the fire and rip this stuff up. The fire has plenty of burn time. And these shouldn't take that long to shred. However, it would have been better if I had actually been prepared for it and done it the correct way. 
If I get tired, will I not be able to repair? I'm not sure about that. Where's that ragged shell? There it is. Actions, harvest, 40 minutes. Yeah, it gives us two cloth, though. So, I'm not sure. I think I need to take my energy drink. Because I think if I get too tired, she'll say, I can't, I can't do that. I can't focus or something like that. So, where's my go energy drink? It's here somewhere. Is it under, it's under health, isn't it? Yeah. Let's drink this thing. <sighs> She's having a sugar rush. All right, there we go. We are wide awake. <laughs> Huge boost there. Um, all right, so let's do this. Prayer. Okay, no luck. Let's try again. We got it. Yeah, all right, 91 with that one, too. So we're up to 15 degrees Celsius now. That's pretty good compared to where we started. I think we started around 8 or 9 at the start of this uh, episode. So we've almost doubled it, if if not. Not sure where exactly we were, but that's good. So these need repaired. I don't have enough cloth for that. That's okay. We can leave that for some other time. But it's worn off. I'm back to I'm back to being uh, fatigued again. So, all right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab some sleep then. And we're gonna try to sleep for about ten hours. What's our uh, five days, twelve hours, thirty six minutes? Okay. Okay. Hope it. Hope I'm not messing about too much. It feels like I'm being pretty good about moving quickly. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's head to bed. Get some food in us. Uh, these MREs are heavy. I'm going to try to utilize these. Get rid of at least one of those. That's like half a kilo. So I didn't get to eat the whole thing, but that's the best I can do. And I'll try to drink a couple of these. These are like 0.25 or something like that. Of course, should have drank it before I filled up on the MRE. Oh, well. Let's go for 10. See you guys in the morning. All right, guys. What time is it? Oh gosh, it's midday. Let's get go. <laughs> Let's get going. Slept in. Silly me. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Still didn't get quite uh, full, fully rested, even though I slept for ten hours. So. Um, let's see where we need to go. I just want to get a reference point here because I'm pretty sure... I'm trying to remember which one it is. It's, it's the farm homestead. I'm pretty sure it's straight out. From us. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. And then the uh, barn's over there. We're not going to mess with the barn. We're just going to go farm homestead and then head straight into the mountain and try to get over to the... to the... Uh, oh. The rope leading up to Timberwolf Mountain. So I think what our goal for the end of this episode is going to be... I'm not sure. Let's see what happens at the farm homestead with this weather. This weather could go either way. I don't like. I don't like the sprain risk. I have. Ugh. All right. It's on the pain. It's just met up here. I, I just had a feeling that was going to happen. I'm even overweight now. I'm be punished for playing it correctly. There we go. Okay. Fine. There we go. I like to go down this way um, rather than use that rope. I can't remember. I, I don't think going going down isn't nearly as tough as going up, but I'm not sure if it saves any energy going this way or not. It's not like I've ever sat down and made than like a conducting an experiment with it or anything like that. All right, let's get a rifle out. Sometimes there's wolves in these neck of the woods. Oh, here's the rope. Okay, I guess I'll, we'll just take the rope then. If it's going to be right here. As long as we're not overweight. What are we at now? 29.63. That's pretty good. And do I need a drink still? I could go for a drink and that's going to lighten us up even more. There we go. What's the temperature at? Negative 15. Ooh. Glad I repaired everything and got a little bit of a warmth bonus. 
Right, let's make sure there's not a bear lurking down here. Sometimes there is, but... Uh, There's a dead deer down there. I wonder if the deer slipped off the rope. Just, seems like he was pushed. He's a little away from the, uh, you know, if he just slipped off the rope, he'd right, be right at the bottom. But he's out a little bit. I think I think that deer was probably murdered. He was pushed off the off the cliff. Oh, there we go. All right, let's keep going here. I think that's the bear den. Maybe not not a bear den. Honestly, don't need anything here. I don't think there is anything in there anyway. So, let's keep going. This feels like a, a blizzard is moving in quick. Um, this wind is... At least it's at our back for now. Alright. Pleasant Valley Farm Homestead. One of my favorite places. I do like this place. There's a lot of loot to be had in here. But we're trying to be discerning when it comes to our looting. So we're going to be very picky about it. Because I have a tendency to have sticky loot fingers. Well, sometimes there's rifle rounds in these. It's worth a look. Not today. No mail. No news is good news. She's getting chilly quick, man. I don't blame her, but we're about to warm up, so it's not going to be a big deal. I can probably eat something. In it. I could probably finish off that MRE, honestly. So I thought that was a rifle round down there, but it was just a piece of hay sticking it out. Oh, well. All right. What do we got here? Uh, reclaimed wood. Don't need that. Do you have any better clothes than what I have? I'm not picking up any more flares. T-shirt, no. Antiseptic, no. Like I said, we're going to be very discerning. Uh, that took a, took is not as good. I'm going to take that. Don't need a pistol cartridge because I dropped all my other ones. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the wood matches because we have like two boxes of wood matches plus the fire striker, which is just way overkill. Um, let me see. Anything up here? I honestly don't see anything, but I'm not sure if something's like hidden out of sight, so I'm going to just double check. And then we'll just shimmy our way down. Frustrating thing is you have to crawl your way through here because you can't stand up and bunk your head on these rafters. Now that's all quiet, I just know... <laughs> I just noticed it could kind of hear my dryer running in the room next door. So if you hear a little noise in the background, that's what it is. I'm trying to wear clean clothes. So, oh, that, I've never seen that spot for a knife. Huh. I like that. That's cool. Good to know. Make sure I look there from now on. All right, let's go. See what we got in here. Anything in here? I don't think so. But we'll double check. Nope. It's just fun to sit in tractors, what can I say? Okay. Never, never pass up a chance to have a seat in a tractor. Pretend to be playing as Squirrel in Farm Simulator or something like that. Shout out to Paul. What have we got here? Is this going to be a colossal waste of time? Should I just keep going? No, I need to stop. Make sure. Just do a quick check. Pleasant Valley Farmstead. All right. What do we have in the outbuilding? Anything worthwhile? Uh, no, not at all, actually. Let's 
keeps it. Uh, those chains always get me. They make me think of a dog coming at me, and it, it's not. The wolves don't wear collars or broken chains or anything. But it always makes me think that there's something right there. Just jumpy when it comes to that sound. It always gets me. Okay, what do we got in here? What do we got? What do we got? A pry bar. I really need a, I really need a uh, hacksaw is what I need. I mean, if we go up there and we don't have a hacksaw, it's fine. We'll get, we'll get the, we'll get the flare gun, right? It's not, yeah, the flare gun's sitting out. Drop both of those. Take that emergency stim, though. The flare gun is sitting out. You don't need a hacksaw for that. Um, let me know if it's changed, though. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't need one. There's a washer dryer in here, so I'm hoping we can get some decent clothes in here. Gosh, I don't see anything I really want. Oh, let me go get that pry bar real quick. <laughs> Just, I don't know, have like a one-time use for it here. All right, I know, I know. Hopefully I don't sprain my ankle going up these four steps. There we go, we made it, we survived. Well, this I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. <laughs> Put it all back. All right, I'll hold on to the uh, pry bar and see where we're at after we eat and all that stuff here. Um, kind of want to keep the pry bar because it is sort of a universal key. We might need it to, for the uh, trunk of the car outside also. There's that car that's parked a little ways from the building, but yeah, there's some, I see a, right, a pistol. Oh no, that was scrap metal. It looked like a pistol round. Nothing there. All right, here we go. All my hopes and dreams are on the dryer. This will come in handy. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Nope. Didn't want either of those. Okay, let's uh, head on upstairs. And, uh... Okay. Let's go. See, if I needed tools, if I did need those tools, those simple tools, I'd have just found better ones, so... Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay, what do you got in here? You got crackers. I see that. I see a big old thing of maple this syrup. That's a lot of calories. We're going to take that. Nothing. Uh, I'm going to leave that behind. I already have some. Uh, I, already, I already have the tea. I'll take that. That was actually pretty good. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I hear you. I know. And some more crackers. Crackers, I think, for the weight, they're the best food. So I might actually take those and then I might drop something in exchange. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna end up having to leave behind quite a bit of I got a lot of food. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. I could drop a lot. Um 30, 50. These are getting heavy. That peanut butter is heavy. Dog food's kind of heavy. Yeah, I can definitely reduce. A lot of weight with getting rid of a lot of that food. I'll let you guys read this if you'd like. It's a little recipe for you. Have at it. Okay. Hopefully, someone's stored a parka inside the. Uh, huh. What have we here? It's a lot of calories. Also, I'm gonna take that and probably get rid of some other things. Moldy meat. I'm not taking that at all. So. Storm lantern, toilet water if we need it. Nothing there. I'll Another stem. Antibiotics. Don't need any more of those. Okay. That's the basement. That's right. And we got the cabinet here. Uh, wool mittens. Those are better than cotton ones. Sometimes there's good stuff in here. Probably going to be ammo or something in here. Rifle ammo, I bet you. I see with my eye. I spy with my little eye. Useless ammo. I'll take, it. I'll take that and again. When I get the chance to purge a lot of this food, I'll probably be dropping that anyway. But uh, let me search this whole place first. Drop that. Take that. All right. What else? I see a rifle round underneath that chair to the left. Right there. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Hope nobody okay. needs this anymore. It's annoying when the uh, the guy playing the game likes the little sound effects that he makes. All right, 
I know. Because I can hear it come back in my ears and it just entertains me. So. And I'm easily entertained, so that doesn't help either. Warnwolf socks. Uh, yeah, we got better than that, I think. Let me check what we got. These are 30. Oh, those are actually better. Those are actually... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Yep, these are actually better than what we have, so... Let's do a quick little 11% upgrade here. Oh, these are... Make that, um... Yeah, a 12% upgrade. There we go. Alright, let's drop those. Alright... I don't see anything else there, but might have missed something. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Some pain meds we don't need. Nothing. No rifles in the. No rifle ammo in the. Uh, in the bathtub. Weird. Who doesn't? Uh, I don't think we need that. We're doubled up on those, right? Those are pretty good. Yeah. Just had to make sure. Ragged hoodie, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. No, thank you. Well, we got a rifle round, right? Just one so far, I think. I'm kind of surprised by that. Nothing back there. Firearm cleaning kits everywhere. Another flare. I haven't found a marine flare yet. It's kind of odd. I just realized that. Okay. Well, we're done here. So. Let's do a little bit of... Make some tough choices here. Oh. Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Okay. It's not over. Look at those oversized blocks back there. Alright. I mean, if you have to make choices, this is a good way to do it. Just too much good stuff to carry around. Just can't keep carrying it all around forever. What are we up to now? It's got to be crazy. Oh, it's only 32.49. Hmm, okay. Lots of stems. I don't really want to mess with any of this. Again, I should be picking Old Man's Beard and doing that, but I don't want to waste time crafting it either. Even though it only takes like 10 or 15 minutes. But still. Oh, do I have anything here without a check mark that I can drop? I'm going to do and drop these pants that are like half a kilo. I'm going to drop this. I don't know why I'm still carrying that. So that was good. Everything else looks all right. Um, here's where there's going to be some serious drops. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of pretty much anything under 45%. Just going to drink the pop because it's safe. I'll drop, I'll drop that milk because I'm, I'm not sure how often that leads to bad things happening. I've never been poisoned by beef jerky, but again. And we're just going to have another drink here of this pop. Let's get our calorie count up while we can. Um, I'm going to drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. We're underweight. That's good. We're in a good place. Um, let me think here. So we got this peanut butter. I'm going to go ahead and, that's 900 calories. I don't think we're going to be able to eat it. Oh, we did. We ate it all. That was good. And now we're nice and thirsty. So I'm going to go ahead and drink that. Okay, we're down to 0.56 liters. Good. All right, so we're pretty well underweight. Um, okay. Let's see here. Now, what else can I get rid of? Let me see here. Get that. Let's go and shred these up. Two tinder plugs, 10 minutes. That'll give us four tinder plugs. There we go. I think I think the weight exchange is the same, so I don't think we. Yeah, see that's twenty. Let's see if it goes up to thirty. Point or point three zero, I should say. Yeah, it did. So it's an equal. It is a wash. I'm just going to drop these. There we go. Honestly, I could just go with this, but. Yeah, I'll keep just for now. Okay, well, looking here at the time, it's probably a good time to st stop. Um, yeah, we made it to the, uh, the exit and come back in just to save it. Made it to the farm homestead and found... Oh, yeah, there's also this place here. 
And I still have the uh, pry bar with me as well, so that's a little bit heavy, but made it to the uh, Pleasant Valley Farm Homestead via Signal Hill and the uh, Winding River connector. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that uh, notification bell. If you are a new subscriber, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.